welcome to a new episode of The Power of Diversity in Business, a Living Institute podcast. My name is Anne, and today we are going to talk about Danish living crash courses. In the studio, to help me with that, I have founder and managing partner Heidi Rotbull Andersen, and I have chief consultant and facilitator Johanna Sandberg. We are also joined telephonically by Karina Bolsen, the former HR director at Vestas, as well as Dashini Womkar, a former participant of Danish Living Crass Course. Welcome to both of you, and of course, also welcome to Dashini and Karina. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Thank Annie, you. for inviting us. It's really good to have you. Heidi, would you please enlighten us? What exactly is Danish Living Crass Course? A Danish Living Crash Course is a full day course for expats and their partners uh, living uh, and working in Denmark. And uh, we've started uh, having monthly open courses uh, 14 years ago, actually, uh, because we could see that Danish companies were struggling with both attracting, but also especially retaining their foreign experts and key employees and managers because they had trouble cracking the code to Danish culture, Danish working culture especially. So uh, we wanted to give them a helping hand in, in retaining uh, these super important people for Danish companies. All right. And Johanna, you are an anthropologist who are specialized in global studies and development. You are head of training for Danish living crash courses. Yes. What insights do you give to expats taking this course? I think uh, the three most important things that we focus on is uh, really help the expats to understand how they can socialize in Denmark. Because one of the things that we see sometimes if they are not introduced to the Danish society is that they find it difficult to get friends and understand the culture in Denmark. The other thing is understanding communications and ways of communication in a Danish society because we have quite a flat uh, organizational structure. So that's also something that we are introducing them to uh, is the knowledge around uh, the egalitarian uh, structures in our organizations and how they can navigate uh, in a Danish organization. Then there's the Danish culture about trust and how that influence the way that we interact with each other. We like to call uh, the Danes uh, a tribe because we are kind of the same type of people and we have a really high level of trust uh, among us because of that and because we are a very small uh, society. And that's why it's sometimes for other people who are not brought up in the same environment, they find it difficult to understand how we make decisions and, and who can actually make the decisions in our organization. So that's some of the things that we focus on. That's really interesting. Um, before we move on, let's turn our attention to Karina Botson, the former HR director who was responsible for actually implementing Danish Living Crash Course as a mandatory part of Vesta's uh, onboarding program. Let's hear what she had to say about why they decided to include Danish Living Crash Course and what the value was, both for employees but also for the company. We found that it was extremely important for the company that we address the cultural challenges uh, that inevitably arise when expats come to Denmark. Even though we consider ourselves to be very open-minded, in those areas of Denmark where our expats lived and worked, people actually weren't very good at integrating and coping with expats. So both the Danes and the expats had some work cut out for them. As a first step, we decided to focus on the expats and help them become better integrated in Danish culture, both socially and at the workplace. To do that, we had monthly Danish living crash courses that were extremely popular and received very high ratings. We gathered small groups of expats from Vestas workforce, so they received full attention during the course. And we could see that attending the courses had a big impact and meant a great deal for our expat employees, who suddenly felt welcome and understood the culture they'd become part of. All right. Um, besides from the value of making expats feel welcome and, and at home, which is, of course, extremely important, um, did Vestas get anything in return for sending these expat employees on recurring mm. Danish living crash courses? And, and if so, what? 
no question about it, uh, because when these expats came to Denmark and felt at home and welcome, um, and understood the country and, and the culture, they stayed here longer. And this meant that there was a rapid return of investment on these courses because recruiting foreign labor is expensive and you often have to relocate entire families, find a place for them to live and help them settle in and, and become integrated and so on. So it's often very expensive. But at the same time, the competences they bring with them are often very important and, and highly sought after. Uh, so it was of utmost important to us uh, that the experts were made to feel welcome and so stayed with the company longer. Yeah, so making them feel welcome was, was one of our challenges in the beginning because Denmark wasn't quite ready to deal with so many expats and didn't know how to create the right structures. And and by that I mean, for instance, integrating the spouses, providing international schooling and the likes. Uh, and this made these causes very crucial for Vesta's success. Um, and there is no doubt that having expats improved the company culture in Vestas. Um, and I think that many expats liked the Danish leadership approach with its flat structure and came to see the value of it, as many fr came from cultures with a more hierarchical company structure. So when you hear Karina Bolzen, what do you think? Uh, I am super proud to hear Karina mention the exact reasons why we established the course. That's uh, the essence. We wanted to help companies to retain skilled foreign employees and, and managers. And from what I hear Karina saying, that's exactly what has happened. All right. It's 14 years ago since you created Danish Living Crash Course. And before we turned to Karina, you said that it had an enormous effect. Can you see this effect today? Well, we still uh, get indications that uh, the former participants of Danish Living Crash Courses described them as a huge, they had a huge before and after effect. That before they went to the courses, they were kind of in the wilderness and after having attended, they got some clearance. I have a very, really nice metaphor. And that is if you hire expats and you don't give them this introduction, they are kind of like sailors without a compass. So they have to try to navigate the Danish waters, but they have no navigation equipment to really understand what is happening and how to find the right harbor and how to be successful. But as soon as you give them this type of training, you're actually giving them the compass to the Danish society. So it's kind of a key or a compass to open up and understand where they are and how to be successful in their roles and also to create happiness in, in the experience of living here in Denmark. Because we are a, a country of happiness, and sometimes <laughs> when you are expat and you don't have uh, the tools to understand where you are and how to connect with people, people find it really difficult. Uh, and then they see a Danes as somebody who is really closed off, and then they struggle. But as soon as they understand how things actually are working, that can be for managers, understanding the management style in Denmark, It really helps them to connect to their employees and, and the people they have to lead. And that's really crucial uh, for being successful in their roles. Mm -hmm. And it means they need to be happy while they work in Denmark. So these courses are really improving the success rates. And the retention rate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Heidi, I know that you've done some research um, on what does it cost to fail at retaining expats. Yeah, it's an old study, I think it was made by McKinsey back in 2002, I think. And they did the math, uh, finding out how, how much does it actually cost to have what they called expat failures, which means uh, an expat is leaving uh, the job before they are intended to. And back then, it was an average of $1.4 million uh, that an expat, expat failure would cost the company. And then it would have some emotional and family uh, consequences. So that was one of the reasons why we've uh, designed these courses. All right. Let's turn to Dashini Wamkar and hear what she had to say about the before and after effect of being a participant at the Danish Living Crest course and what it meant to her when she attended one year ago. I worked in India for... Uh, few years and then I also worked in the US so I, I had already seen I had seen uh, two different work cultures and when I came to Denmark it was an entire different beast <laughs> <laughs> Denmark is on the extremes on some of the 
the elements that you rate on. So in that case, it definitely is different, quite different. And um, people take time to navigate and learn. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, if I had gone through this course earlier in my uh, career in Denmark, it would have helped me in a bigger way. Probably I would have accomplished more mm -hmm. or done things differently or maybe yeah, handled things differently as such. Because just after I have taken it, I can see that my uh, approach has changed uh -huh. uh, towards it. Yeah. Um, what has been the effect of the course uh, for you? I think after the course, let me start this way. Before the course, <laughs> I I used to do things and I used to handle certain type of task or issues in a certain way. And I was not sure if it is that way which will work. Of course, I might have learned past eight years that this will work and this may not work. Mm -hmm. But I think after the course, I could actually see it clear that whatever I have learned is right. Uh, and I think especially in Denmark where people are really honest, nothing should be taken personal. When in work culture, if someone states it and then you know that it is due to this and this reason uh, and it's nothing personal, it is just because everybody wants a win-win or wants the best for the company that they work for. And if you get that, it's easier to avoid any conflicts. Uh, it's also that in the way that you tell uh, is also important. Yeah, the way that, you communicate. Exactly, yeah. And I think I have started uh, reciprocating and then maybe also telling some of my learnings to Danish colleagues or maybe to another colleague and to help them as well. Yeah. yeah. That's a really big before and after effect. Yeah, it uh, it has been, yeah. yeah. Because now I, I used to believe it like that before mm -hmm. the course, but now I know for sure it is yeah. because of this. And that's why I can also voice yeah. it up, saying that, yes, this is because like this. Yeah. And I think it also gives you more confidence uh, when you speak up mm -hmm. or wherever you participate in meetings or... Uh, do it and because you know it's right yeah. that was Dashini Wamkar thank you to her and thank you to Karina Bolson the former HR director at Vestas and thank you to both of you for joining it's been a pleasure thank you for inviting us I'm just really looking forward to meet more expats in Denmark and help them be happy uh, working and living in Denmark and giving them a compass and giving them a compass that's really important Thank Hi. you. And thank you, Annie, for inviting me as well. I always love to talk about <laughs> the English Living Crash Courses. I think they are the best thank thing we do, actually. So, great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And for all of you listening, please stay tuned and have a lovely day. <laughs>